as a backend developer, front end, full stack, uh, there is huge demand in uh, data scientist, as a data engineer. Yeah, like uh, even UX, uh, UX designer, uh, there are a lot of demands on that. Hi guys, this is Sandeep Khara and you're watching Conical Education. Before we proceed further, let me remind you to subscribe below and enable the bell notifications to not miss any updates on this channel. Let's dive into today's video. Today, I have somebody with me who got the job from India within a period of four to five months. He will share with us how you can work on your profile and get hired accordingly in Germany, get a job here. And finally, he's also going to share with us his uh, experiences, how he got the job, what kind of applications he made, and finally, how he got the offer. So without any further delay, let's move further into the video. Hi, Satya. I'm very happy to have you on the channel. So yeah, can you please introduce yourself briefly and tell us about uh, where do you come from and uh, what is your profile briefly? Hello Sandeep, yeah, nice to have me. Uh, yeah, myself Satya, I am from Orissa. Uh, like I, I did my BTEC in Orissa itself and I have been working in Bangalore for last five years as a backend developer. Yeah, uh, I have worked on uh, like uh, like mainly in backend developer, I have worked as a like in Java. Can you tell us about your core skills? What kind of technologies you work on, and what kind of experience do you have with them? So it's more clear for the people to know what you are working on. Yeah, in my past experience, I have mainly worked as a backend developer as a in Java, as a, with a, a small focus on front end like JavaScript. Like I have worked on several uh, different domains uh, like healthcare, storage, uh, as well as retail. And uh, the main technologies uh, is like uh, in my day-to-day -day, uh, work, I have worked on Spring, Hibernate, uh, using Code Java. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. Uh, can you also tell us like how did you come to German? I started applying for jobs in uh, around November uh, 2019 and uh, like after that I received a job and I, I came to Germany with like having a job from India. So yeah, so that means you started searching for the job last year November and uh, you got the job uh, in uh, in four to five months right but yeah. then why it took you so long to come here because it's been almost a year now but you got the job almost six to seven months back what's the reason is it because of pandemic if so what uh, can you explain that uh, like uh, did your employer waited for you or how is it uh, yeah like uh, uh, I st uh, like I started with my interview process in early uh, like uh, end of uh, 2019 my interview continued till March. Uh, so after that, I like before receiving offer, my employer asked like uh, they wanted to review uh, the current status of pandemic, and uh, then uh, like they came back around July that uh, they want to hire me, and like uh, but uh, that time uh, embassy in Indian embassy was closed, so they started their working in uh, August. So I uh, like I was in constant uh, in touch with my employer uh, uh, several weeks uh, and uh, like yeah uh, so after MBC opened I applied for the visa and then I like I came to Germany. So actually that is really nice that the employer waited for you and I think the reason for it that is um, basically they are looking for a good talent who are capable to deliver so it's a good news for people to know okay it's not necessary okay because many times people ask me question okay my notice period is two months or my notice period is three months so it is fine they will wait for you three months four months in, in case you you are a talented person you know what you are doing and you can similarly convey the message to the employer okay you can tell the situation okay this is the, your situation and you can join in two months three months and four months accordingly but one thing i want to mention here before uh, conveying these kind of things you have to be a little bit careful you must uh, try to understand uh, in how much hurry the employer is if employer is in really hurry then definitely you must try to speed up your processes if that's not the case they they are uh, focusing more on your skills and they can wait for you then it is fine and you can convey your message accordingly here i'm asking you two questions together so first is do you speak the german language and second is what is the business language of your company where you just joined currently uh, the business language uh, which we use is uh, english uh, like it is same in any software company most of the software companies mm -hmm. in germany 
but yeah i learned uh, german till a2 in uh, while i was in bangalore but uh, uh, after this within this pandemic i forgot almost everything so yeah so i am planning to restart uh, from a2 it's a1 itself okay yeah that's really good that you learned until a2 from india itself so yeah can you also tell us about is learning german important to search for the job and even let's say you found the job in english and you came here and you started working is uh, what is the level of importance learning german even after getting the job in english for example in both the cases just share whether you get the job in english or whether you get a job in german so what are the what's the benefit of uh, language uh yeah you can definitely get a job in english but learning german will definitely give you a edge over a uh, job search because uh, even if there are like 100% of the job only 20 30% of the job they are looking for english will you are applying maybe you can broaden your funnel when you learn german so it will really help you as well as so german is very much required uh, like now as i am here and like it is pretty difficult to do a day to day work uh, if you don't know german uh, like you need to do conversation with uh, many people so yeah learning german is uh, it is very necessary okay yeah, that's definitely true you are in a foreign country and then it's better sooner you learn the language sooner it's, it's going to be easier for you can you tell us about the job market of java and other related fields in it how is how, how many jobs are coming in and what's the situation even in this crisis time uh even if in, in this crisis time like if i take only java you can if you directly do a search in uh, linkedin you will find hundreds of new uh, new openings every day so i like uh, in java it is pretty uh, pretty good but if we add like uh, cloud technologies or like uh, uh, or devops or a full stack developer uh, it will really add a edge over your profile and yeah there are uh, like uh, now as we are understanding the pandemic there are many more openings which are coming in several fields okay can you list out some of the fields like uh, which fields uh, you are yeah, mentioning like uh, uh if you say uh, as a back end developer front end full stack uh, there is huge demand in uh, data scientist as a data engineer yeah like uh, even ux uh, ux designer uh, there are a lot of demands on that oh nice so definitely uh, people can note down these and it is not just a few fields that uh, satya has just mentioned there are many more fields which uh, in which jobs are available you can just go to the job sites you can visit the linkedin you can go to other job sites and try to see how many jobs are coming every week or how many total jobs are available at the moment so it will give you the clear idea what's the market situation and then you can plan your move accordingly you can start looking for the job and see uh, how it works for you can you tell us what pre- preparations did you do to get a job in germany in detail uh, yeah so i started uh, i started planning in early 2019 uh, so before the like uh, within that i started doing uh, data structure algorithm like uh, like really going very deep into data structure algorithm and i like uh, took help from hacker rank as well as some books like go crack the coding interviews uh, so they are like definitely very good source for data uh, algorithm and uh, i also did aws certification so like, it also took me around 2 uh, months to do that certification as a like developer uh, and uh, yeah there are several like uh, uh, million germany uh, like uh, testing like in a java field uh, test driven development are uh, and uh, like prayer programming are uh, focused a lot so like understanding how that works and understanding how test driven development works uh, so yeah i uh, started did all my preparation on that then i started uh, job that's really great and uh, you also mentioned about data structures algorithms and tdd so as far as i know to my knowledge these are some things not really technical things these are the concepts programming concepts which are applied to any language so are they really equally important as the technical skills can you explain that uh, what kind of role these kind of things these kind of concepts or your understanding play in your interview process in your application process yeah when we are coming to uh, when we are searching for any job it may be germany or india like 
uh, if you're applying to good uh, employers, they are looking into hiring people who are uh, not focused on any programming language. So maybe after you are hired, you can work on any programming language. So keeping your concept very clear, uh, like understanding that's the algorithm, understanding how a system is being designed, uh, writing j test cases, uh, doing pair programming or uh, how you are writing your code, uh, like clean code or how you are uh, uh, like what is your like logic, how you are using that they, those plays very important role, even more important role than your own programming language, which you are working on. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. So definitely people must focus on your concepts, your system design, and uh, basically they are writing the optimized code or refactoring the code or solid principles they can focus on to have the edge over other candidates. And in your answer, you also mentioned about AWS. To my knowledge, uh, as far as I know, you you are a Java uh, backend developer. Do you also carry some experience into AWS or uh, is it just the certification you have? Uh, it is just a certification I had. I didn't carry any uh, prior experience to cloud, uh, working experience on cloud. But uh, being a Java developer, it is a natural progression to either go to a DevOps field or to a cloud field. So I was pretty much interested in AWS, uh, in cloud. So, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, there are several clouds, but I selected, uh, there were a lot of materials which were available for AWS. So I selected that and I started learning that. Uh, and uh, uh, it somehow helped me in my job profile also. Yeah, yeah. So that's really great to know. So here, I think there is something for the people to know that, okay, if you are coming from some technology and you have some additional certification, but you haven't worked on those things, it's still okay to be clear with the employer. If you feel, okay, he's fine with that because they want to see your approach. You are very good in Java development. And if you are good in what you are doing, then definitely they have a faith on you that if you are learning something new, you can definitely grab it and you will be very active in that. You will be expert in that over the period of time. Can you tell us what skills can be an added advantage to get a job in Germany or to get a job in Europe, whether it is a tech skill or it is a non-tech skill? I know you just focus on Germany, but still in my view, if you follow the same approaches all across Europe, then you will be fine. So just tell us those kind of things which are important to get hired. So uh, including our uh, basic core skills, uh, like core fundamental uh, tech skills, uh, if we, for a Java developer, for example, if we go for like learning several uh, uh, DevOps <coughs> technologies like containers, Kubernetes, uh, it is really good advantage on that. Or we are learning uh, something on cloud as uh, after, uh, after pandemic, most of the companies, they are moving to a digital platform. Uh, cloud is really gaining a lot of traction. So that is really something good to know for everyone who is watching the video. Can you tell us about your job application experience, how you applied, what portals you followed and some other details you followed? Uh, yeah, I started uh, my job application uh, around end of November 2019. So I have applied to several hundreds of jobs and uh, yeah, I got response for very few of them. Uh, uh, so I gave interview for all those uh, like, and I was able to crack one of them uh, mm -hmm. where uh, I have been hired now. Uh, so yeah, if I focus on more in job uh, profile, uh, I uh, like uh, I fo uh, initially I focused a lot on creating a CV and cover letter, which is in a German format. Uh, mm -hmm. As uh, after that, I I focused on creating a, a proper LinkedIn account. Like uh, everything has to be like uh, my e from starting from my email ID as well as what work I have done uh, done in all my prior companies as well as my current companies as well mm -hmm. as uh, I, I I wrote uh, some tech blogs, which I have mentioned in the LinkedIn. So yeah, uh, as well as when I'm searching for the job, I focused on LinkedIn. Uh, I applied for jobs. Uh, I, I looked for jobs in LinkedIn, but I applied for all those jobs in their company profile. Because when I when I was applying from LinkedIn, I, I was getting almost 100% rejection uh, using LinkedIn uh, easy apply. So mm -hmm. I started applying to the company's portal 
uh, which gave me more calls. Like I uh, got more response from applying via applying from the company portal itself. Okay, so that's really great. I have a couple of follow up questions here. For example, you mentioned that okay, you applied for a few hundred jobs, right? And then you got few calls out of that. So definitely, I want to. In fact, this is not a question. This is something I want to highlight to the audience. Okay, you need the consistency. You need the patience in the process, and you have to uh, believe in what you are doing. Plus, it is also important. It's not that uh, you are you are not carrying the tech skills. Tech skills are equally important. But then, you once you have the skills, keep on applying, keep connecting with the people, and uh, move on to your journey. And then finally, today or tomorrow, you will get the call. You will get hired eventually. Second thing you have mentioned uh, that tech blog. So, is it go really going to be advantageous to add something like this tech blog or any kind of other blog you have, which has some relation to the employer or something? So, can you explain that? Uh, I think uh, when an employer is searching for an employee, he is looking uh, for someone who is really interested in like in doing what he wants, uh, like what he is doing. So if I am like I am a Java developer and I am really interested in learning Java developer as well as I am interested in spreading what I know, then yeah, tech block is one of a one of a thing uh, where you can uh, you can write your own blogs like how how you learned and if you know something which is uh, very interesting, you can uh, write your tech blogs and you can spread those using LinkedIn. Okay. So yeah, it will really help you in initial job uh, job search. Okay. So what I understand is that having something like tech blog or some or maybe some Git profile or something else. So the advantage will be that you are showing your passion for what you are doing. You are showing it as evidence. Okay, what you are saying. So it is visible in all those kind of things, and employer is more convinced what you say with those evidences. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I would add something here. Uh, while I was applying, there were many profiles where they will ask for your GitHub uh, account. So they okay. really want to know uh, how, like, uh, what uh, projects you have worked on of your own. So, okay. Yeah, having a GitHub account will really help. Yeah, then definitely you are showing. Okay, you have this small code or small small project yeah. you have worked on, and it shows. Okay, and it even shows. Okay, how much capable you are. At least at the at the minor level, not very very in detail, but yes, at the smaller level it shows your skills. Okay, my next question is about your interview process. I want to know what kind of interviews were there. What was the focus of those interviews? What, how much was the focus on technical and how much was the focus on non-technical parts? Can you explain all these in detail with your experiences? Yeah, uh, I had around six rounds. Uh, my mm -hmm. first round was morely into like they provided me a test study and uh, they gave me a week of time to complete those test study. So once I am done with, I did that and I have submitted those test study. Then they came after like 15 to 20 days. Uh, that I have cleared that round, and uh, after that, uh, there were uh, three technical interviews, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which was followed by cultural fit round, uh, mainly with my uh, hiring manager, HR, uh, as well as my reporting manager. Uh, mm -hmm. Then the last round was uh, not actually a, like it was just a discussion with a team, which uh, with mm -hmm. whom I will be working on, like what would be the work and how uh, like like having a simple discussion on how things uh, are okay. going okay so definitely i understand the focus of why there was cultural fit round they want to see you as a person how well you go with the team and all and finally know each get to know each other round with the team that is also understandable okay team wants to know you they want to see you what kind of person you are and then it is completely okay and also you mentioned there were three technical rounds, which is really interesting to know. Maybe can you tell us in more detail about these rounds? How were these and what was the main primary area of focus in these rounds? Yeah, all those uh, in all the three rounds, the structure was very similar. They were all divided into two parts. One uh, being a discussion, uh, like uh, it was half an hour discussion, half an hour coding challenge. A uh, uh, coding challenge can be like uh, it was the, all those uh, four, uh, three technical rounds. They were more focused on technical stuffs only. So if you say the first half, they focused on how what you know on Java or 
uh, understanding like uh, clean code you know, solid principles or something related to that what is your understanding on how to write codes and all and second round uh, it they were like a uh, uh, pair programming uh, like we have to pair with the uh, engineer uh, with whom I, we will be uh, like i will be working in future we will be either we will be doing a pair programming or uh, they will be giving a question where we have to solve it uh, like in front of them so yeah uh, okay. the more focus was there on technical stuff so. so in all there was not much difference between these three rounds these were just uh, focusing on your tech skills right yeah and yeah. i believe this is not something normal it was it might be just this employer who was more concerned about these kind of technical skills so employer had three interview rounds with you on the technical side but as you said you also went ahead with other other companies for the interview maybe you can also tell okay how many rounds were there especially when you talk about tech, technical rounds uh, in other companies uh, in one of the company i had only one technical round uh, it really varies like from company to company Mm -hmm. but in my current employer they were more focused like they were equally focused on technical as well as soft skills can you also tell us about the recommended job sites that you followed and which are helpful in the job search process uh, i was more focused on linkedin and stack overflow but mm -hmm. uh, i have uh, heard uh, zinc and stepstone yeah uh, okay. from many of my friends but uh, i was applying only through uh, linkedin and uh, stack overflow yeah that's true these are couple of websites which are really important to focus on regarding the salaries i'm i want to ask you general salary range what a person can expect uh, let's say he's coming from the similar background as you and carries the experience of 5 years and uh, yeah even if you know something about 10 years experience person you can also mention that yeah uh yeah our uh, salary range will like uh, it really depends upon where we are applying for job uh, it can vary from uh, berlin to munich to dusseldorf mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but on an average i could expect uh, something between uh, uh, 50 to 70000 euros for a mm -hmm. five years experience i did my salary research in pay scale as well as glassdoor Mm -hmm. uh, to find out uh, how employees are getting paid in that particular company so that i can quote uh, equal amount yeah yeah that's a good idea to do i think what are the three suggestions or three tips you want to give to the audience who is currently watching the video so that they get hired as soon as they can based on their skills and everything so first thing i would like focus like a uh, cv and cover letter it has to be well formatted uh, uh, a german formatted cv and our uh, when we are applying for several jobs if the uh, the cv should not be a generic to all those employer it has to be very specific to the job we are applying to during your interview you will be asked on all the things you know and they will be looking into your cv so yeah, yeah. Uh, keeping it fair and uh, we should uh, like craft our cv based on the profile we are applying to yeah. and uh, i would say like linkedin premium is a good investment i uh, i like it really helped me in reaching out to several head hunters like uh, and also hiring managers uh, and mm -hmm. it also helped me in this pandemic how the company is doing how they are hiring uh, how many they are hiring every month uh, you can really find all those details in like insight uh, if you are using linkedin premium and yeah if you are applying also from job in linkedin if you take linkedin premium it your profile will be on the top and how what technology is also required for applying the, the uh, for that particular job you can find on linkedin for me uh, okay. apart from that uh, i would focus on cultural fit round before going to any interviews you really have to for learn how, what company is doing what uh, what is they are working on what product they are producing uh, what type of customer they are focusing on because in cultural fit round they will be asking you why you want to join that particular company and Uh, you have to show your enthusiasm or like you have to show your understanding that you did your homework okay yeah so overall there are three things the person must focus on one is the cv and cover letter second is premium is a good investment and finally uh, to make 
and finally to be well prepared for the cultural fit round by researching about the company and researching about the domain what business company into and such things in the last i want to ask you uh, what were your learnings from conical education if there were any so it's not that you have to mention it's not necessary but yes if there were some learnings then please please mention that yeah uh, when i was searching like uh... before even starting my job profile or before even starting my technology uh, learning all those technology i was searching how easy or how difficult it is to apply for germany and uh, there were several videos which really helped me understanding yeah this all things uh, we have to do or uh, this is the uh, market there so it helped me in understanding the market better yeah, even if you get a job uh, there are a lot of processes which we have to do uh, from like being in india till we do like uh, till we are in the first day like we are joining the company itself like from visa to embassy to uh, maybe uh, i'm building here in germany there are several processes and uh, conical education really helped me in uh, like they, are, they they have several videos which really helped me in understanding all those processes and conical education also has a, a very active uh, uh, telegraph group where the members uh, if you have any queries the member they will jump on and uh, help you in whatever queries you have so yeah it really helped me a lot yeah that's that's really great and uh, yeah definitely i take it as a good feedback and thanks for that and uh, it's a kind of appreciation yeah thanks a lot and yeah this is all uh, i have for you today and thanks for joining in thanks for sharing your experiences definitely it's going to add lot of value to the people who are searching for the job from outside eu so yeah i really enjoyed the discussion with you yeah have a good day sandeep yeah.